SCP-2585 Exploration Log C Exploration Log C slash slash 1991 Following the results of Exploration B, SCP-2585 activity continued, however, no further excursions were planned due to personnel constraints. In 1991, however, the disappearance of a private aircraft, carrying five civilians, over the Karakoram region during an SCP-2585 manifestation prompted further inspection. In addition to upgraded mountaineering equipment, the personnel selected, R, O, and H, were given a video-slash-audio recording unit with direct upload to Outpost 2585, and three Beretta Series 89 pistols. As with the previous explorations, the team ascended via the Abruzzi Spur. Sections of the climb prior to Camp C have been omitted for brevity. R, righto, our rest is over. Are you seeing this, base? The video feed displays a milder section of terrain, consistent with Camp C base, affirmative, our visibility's just as poor. Can you see the base camp at all? R, negative. The video feed confirms this. Base, is there anything wrong with the team? Anything at all? R, no, we're all fine, physically, mentally, everything. Base, right. Continue whenever you're ready. Notify us with any development. R, will do. Out. Over 25 minutes, the team is observed scaling the mountain. No anomalies or sightings of SCP-2585-1 were detected by either the team or base camp during the track. Thus far, the route seems consistent with K2 in its natural state, and inconsistent with the previous explorations. The turbulence of the weather, also, appears less severe than previously. R, it doesn't seem too bad up here. I saw the previous recordings, are we sure this is a genuine manifestation? Base, what's the atmospheric pressure? R, yeah, it's at about a thousand hectopascals. That's almost sea level pressure. I guess it is genuine. Base, don't relax too much. Team status? R, all green. Base, all right. Continue your ascent. No irregularities are observed on the video feed of the ascent for 17 minutes. H, what is that? Base, what? R, hold up, base, we're going to get a good look at it hits something on the ground. H, oh fuck. R, I-O. Base, are you seeing this? SCP-2585-1 is visible, prostrate, and motionless on the ground. The suit is heavily damaged, the faceplate is broken open, and there appears to be nothing inside. Base, is there activity on it, inside it, anything? R, nothing. H, I can't figure out what caused this damage R, get the camera on this. A close-up of the suit's damage is taken. It appears to be partially disintegrated, though no sign of burn or chemical damage is present. R, it looks like it's just turned to dust. Oh, wait, so if it's dead, is that why things aren't so bad up here? H, maybe. Base, yet the anomaly is still present, which means that SCP-2585-1 was not the source. R, do we continue, base? Base, yes, proceed with utmost caution. R, continuing mission. Out. Over the next seven hours, the team continues climbing. While no disturbances are observed or reported, it is noticed by both the team and base that ambient light inside SCP-2585 has reduced significantly, the current time is only 3.39 p.m. Base, R, is the camera malfunctioning? R, no, it really is that dark. How's the light outside this mess? Base, normal, it's still bright out here. R, it almost looks like nighttime here. This isn't something it's done before, is it? Base, no. This is new. Oh, fuck. H, we're not too far from Camp D, I think. R, I think you're right. I what the? H, whoa. Base, what's going on? Oh, stars. R, base, are you seeing this? The camera shows that the cloud cover has dissipated, and the night sky is visible. Base, the mountain still appears to be completely concealed by cloud cover from our location. R, extra-dimensional? Oh, fuck. H, calm down, 
We might be able to get out by just climbing down, this is way too soon to lose your shit. Base, details, R, what do you see? R, everything looks normal up here, it's just night. There's cloud below us, I assume that's the sipe itself well I guess we're inside the sipe now but, you know what I mean. Base, anything new or unusual on the mountain itself? R, it looks fine, I wait. H, do you see it too? Oh, see what? Base, what is it? R, faint light coming off a slope above us, it's not too far away, but from this angle, we can't see what's projecting it. Base, can you describe the light? What color is it? R, it's no, I, I'm not sure. Investigate? Oh, fuck no. H, we may not get another chance to see what's up here. Oh, I'm fine with that. Base, R, listen to me. Observe only, try to get images on the recording unit. Avoid direct contact and return once you get a look. R, Roger. Oh, no. We need to leave. H, shut up. R, O, be quiet, Wirio, no. O is observed to flee from the area, retreating down into the cloud cover. In his haste, he stumbles and falls out of sight, presumably to his death. R, man down, base. Base, get the images and get out of there, R, R, doing. Out. The remaining team members ascend the terrain between their current position and the unidentified light source. The trek takes seven minutes. No abnormalities are reported by the team or observed on the video feed. R, base. H, my god. Visible on the feed is a crater, roughly 30 meters in diameter, extending into the side of K2. The crater contains the wreckage of an unknown model space shuttle. The light is seen to emanate from among the debris, though the exact source is not yet identified. R, the hell is this doing here? Base, can you see what the light source is? R, negative. Base, go ahead and return, R, we'll see what we can get out of this footage. R, all right, we H, R, look. Something moves in the wreckage. A humanoid figure emerges, limply suspended by unknown means. The figure appears to be dressed in the same manner as the team. H, it's O. This is confirmed on the video feed as it stabilizes. Also visible are luminescent phenomena similar to the fractal imagery seen in Exploration Log BR, what the fuck happened to him? He oh god. Data expunged SCP-2585-1, R, H, get back down to the cloud cover. The team attempts to descend the mountain as data expunged SCP-2585-1, eaten away. I'm running out, but I'll try to make the terrain easier down there. Goodbye, guys. Contact is lost. R and H returned to base camp 10 minutes later, though how this was accomplished is presently unclear. Further details regarding Exploration C, including the debriefing report, are currently restricted to Clearance 3-2585.